What's going on, everybody? Al here. Street Sense at Creed Boutique. Creed Boutique. New York City. NYC. That's it. Louis. Al, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me back. We'd love to have you, man. We'd love uh, to have you. You know, I keep saying this all the time. I love being here. Yeah. And I'm a huge Creed person. I mean, Creed fragrances, they work great on my skin. And yeah. I love rocking my Creeds. Yeah. It's great. It's become, you know, part of you now. You know? <laughs> and, and part of a lot of you guys at home, you know, you guys wear Creed and it's like, it's opened up a lot of doors. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, oh yeah. A lot of and, doors. And I was gonna say, you never know what you're gonna get at the Creed Boutique. I just saw Arnold Schwarzenegger outside and you know, got to say hi to him. Yeah, that, that was crazy. Amazing. You got a picture with him, yeah, that's great. Yeah, a picture with him, got the signature and all yeah. that good stuff, so. Yeah, I tried to get him in here, but he said he'd be back. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for him. Uh, yeah, you know, Al maybe, Arnold, come back. Maybe he'll come back in and uh, we'll, do his, we'll throw him in the video. Oh I wonder which one he would like. Oh man, yeah. what, what, what's that you think? Well, you know what, uh, he's, he's definitely into like smoking cigars, right? Yeah, so yeah. I would say Tavarone. Hey, yeah, that's mean, a good one. He's a macho guy, right? Yeah. So, you know, he, um, you know, he was Tavron. a political figure, he's a, he's a you know, big guy and big personality. So yeah. definitely something that uh, magnifies that. Because I think, always, you know, I always say this, you guys, find a fragrance that extends who you are and that's how you find a signature scent. Yeah, I agree, I agree. So yeah, Arnold, Tabaro. <laughs> <laughs> that's my pick for him. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say the same thing. Cause yeah. uh, it was going to uh, buy oh, a wild jacket. Yeah, yeah, Bell Staff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great pieces. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's amazing stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So why we're here today, Part three. Part three, Q&A, part three. We're making yeah. this happen. I can't believe it, part three. That's, how That's crazy. Yeah, I wanna say thank you to everybody. All the questions are amazing. I know yeah. you're having a good time answering these questions. Right? Yeah. They're very interesting. Yeah, correct. You know, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought it was gonna be kind of like, um, you know, just regular questions, but uh, you know, a lot of them are pretty like precise. Yeah. And so um, keeps so it's great. <laughs> it keeps, it keeps us on our toes. Yeah, yeah. And, and also, you know, I, it's, it's great for us to inform you you know, I know a lot of you guys live outside of New York, you don't have a chance to come here. And so those questions, you know, I think they help a lot of people. Oh yeah, so definitely, definitely. There's some amazing questions. Like you yeah. said, I never, I thought it was going to be more simple questions. People really go all out. And yeah. I, I really, I respect that. I really do. Well, <laughs> well, you know, also I like the fact that, you know, it's not just enough fragrance that you're just wearing. You actually want to know what makes it work, what's inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, give me a little story behind it. Yeah. So it's not just a fragrance, it's actually more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, like like me, when you buy something, you want to know what makes it work, what makes it tick, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's great. It's great, so, you know, keep the questions coming. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's do it. We might have a part four. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> All right, so let's start this off. Question number one, you ready? Question number one. Let's make this happen. This is from Deathman85. All right. Deathman85, is it true that Creed change their atomizers? I read, that newer bottles spray less, or is this an indication that it's fake? You know, that's a good question. Um, you know, um, we change our package, whether it's in the box or the bottle, um, quite often. You know, so um, yes, we, we have changed the atomizer pump in the top sprayer. It does come out in a, in a different way. Okay. It comes out in a, um, in a more of a fine mist. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and my whole yeah. thing was more. Well, it's, it's just you get a you get a big blast. Yeah, there's I, an yeah. Over there. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Also, um, I th I think the finer mist works better. To okay. be honest with you, can we try a little example on you? Of course. Yeah. Good. All right. So let's try the, what I'm wearing today, oh, which is man. pure white cologne. So okay, there we go. Pure white cologne. So I'm gonna ask you to just kind of raise your your arms right here. So pure white cologne, right? So this mimics. Maybe splashing it on uh, from a flacon, or using you know um, just splashing on a large amount. Smell okay. it. I mean, it, you, you're not really smelling pure white cologne yet. All the molecules are kind of fighting. You know, because you, you spread it close up to me. Is yeah, you, yeah. So you know, this emulates a lot, a lot of, of fragrance on your body. Okay. Right. So I, I did it up close. Okay. Because you know, it's a lot. You yeah. can you can see like the it trail. Is. Like yeah, dripping it's, down, it's, yeah, it's heavy. All right, so that emulates a large amount. Okay, all right. So maybe because a lot of guys like splash on, yeah, yeah and I still like down my arm, and I think it's still that's too much because you know the same fragrance can smell different. You know, if you the way you spray well, you it, can, the way you, you apply, apply, yeah, yeah, the application. Yeah. So this arm, okay, so we're gonna do it a little bit from far. So okay. smell that, and you did it with the Queen swag. Yeah, I did it with swag, <laughs> but smell that. You can smell pure white cologne right yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. Wow, yeah. that's 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 awesome. Yeah. So an application of fragrance, air is a factor. Yeah. yeah. So um, here it's gonna take a little time. Yes. Yeah, it will smell like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a little while, but here you get the initial like instant effect. Yes. And I think also. Um, 
you know, when you get that fine mist, it's just a sign of elegance. I mean, you don't want to be. Yeah. I mean, I use a lot of fragrance, you know, okay. and, and, I, and I, I tend to overdose a lot of times, but, um, you know, I think the finer mist it works well, and also it'll extend the life of your bottle, so you'll have more to use longer. Yeah. So, but we have changed the sprayers. Yes. It's not that it's a fake, it's that we have changed the sprayer, and, um, for and so that's the new packaging. Older gentlemen. I know Aventus was, you know, spice. that was the first one that uh, everybody saw was Aventus. Yeah, um, so it was changed. yeah, it just so happened. I mean, I, I missed the Creed's calendar, I'm sure. It was just that time to, to uh, make Aventus for the production. You know, they, they have a, um, a calendar like this one, they're making this, they're making that. Yeah. Not everything uh, nice. is made at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So it just probably just so happened. But um, yeah, you'll probably see that on uh, Aventus. Irish tweed, yeah. and you know, that you'll see them, so well, yeah, you'll see them trickling down to some of the other cream fragrances. Okay, awesome. so yeah, new spray top, yeah. new atomizer yeah. pump, yeah, you know, very, very sturdy, yeah, sweet, and but still, yeah, very effective. Okay, top, yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. That was a great awesome answer. I think we got it. <laughs> Do you learn something new? All right, so uh, thank you, uh -huh. um, Deaf Man 85. 85. <laughs> we'll sum that up really nice. And man, pure white wow. I'm sleeping on this. Wow. I love this. <laughs> it's just oh, one of these, it's one of these wow. fragrances that you know, just feels clean. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so next question, number two, is from Jay Chris, Chris Douglas. Chris Douglas. Hello. If you are going to do another, if you are going to do another, I would like to see you pick five Creed scents at random and see if Lewis can tell the difference. <laughs> you know what's really funny? That's a game that we play here. <laughs> and actually, uh, you know, um, I, I, I've been able to train a few of the new Creed employees that, um, that work through our network. And um, as you learn these fragrances, that's one thing that we do. You know, you can kind of like, you know, like blindfold yeah, yeah. test. Or like just spray cards and you just. Yeah, yeah, them. absolutely. So we know them. Yeah, I mean, we, know, we know them right away. But I need to even give you that test. No, sure we, we, we live and breathe this. Yeah, 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 you know, we actually um, are good enough that you can actually layer a couple fragrances on top of each other, and, and I can know. tell you which three they are. Really? Oh, absolutely. I'm sure I you know, am. Rodney yeah. also being very good at that, and Emerson. You know, so here, here in New York, yeah. I mean, we spray this stuff all the time, you know, all day long. We, we live and breathe. We're, you know, Hey. Based on our DNA, we yeah. know the stuff blindfolded. Yeah. Yeah. Spray, yeah. Absolutely. Versus events, you're gonna know right away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. No, but even the classics. I mean, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. our collection oh, here, the boutique yeah. was always extensive. Yeah. So um, yeah. you know, our, our knowledge is, is, is definitely on the bar. So you wouldn't get us with that. Right. Not here. <laughs> not here. And and, and not only that, you know, a lot of people come in here uh, with with like a vial that was given to them from another store, and they're like, oh, I want to get this. Can you tell them what this is? And that's the true test because this vial has been sitting maybe okay. in this lady's purse for a couple oh, like months from a trip from Dallas. Yeah, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's original Santal. Or yeah. oh yeah, it's yeah. Love and Light. Or Florissimo. I mean, we're, you know, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. So, wow, you could really distinguish the three on top of each other? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, uh, that's, a, that's our talent. That's yeah, what so we're here. Live and breathe free. Yeah. So. Yes. Awesome. So we're not going to do the test. I know you're going to pass with flying Yeah, that, that one's an easy one. It's a good question, though. No. <laughs> that one's an easy one. All right. So, but, it, but it's a fun exercise, you know. I can imagine. Like for, uh, for new, newbies, you yeah. know, like that, that start with the company. You know, it's, it's a way to kind of um, break out of just reading ingredient and kind of visualizing and, 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 and just smelling the different layers. <clears throat> yeah. Smelling the different layers in the fragrance. I gotta take so that test. It's a one great day. exercise. Yeah. Okay, give me that test one day. Absolutely. I'll, yeah. I, I'll probably pass. Yeah. I wanna take that. Alright, so number three. This is from Hedgehog 082819 1986. Oh, that is a, that's maybe his either social security number or, <laughs> his, or phone his phone number. number. Hedgehog. Hedgehog Mr. Sonic. The bunch of uh, numbers. Is it true that Queen makes a different version of its perfumes exclusively for Middle East. I mean, different bottles or the different uh, or the scriptures on the piece of history of Creed inside a box. Inside a box is written in, only in Arabic. Yeah. Or are these fake perfume or are, are these fake? I bought a bottle of GIT and it came with the Arabic description. I did not trust this bottle. Yeah. Why? His name, the way he wrote yeah. it. Little, why is it different versions and uh, is it? Why have, Why have a different versions if that makes it hard to spot yeah. Okay, um, that's, a, that's actually a good question. You know, that, that question has been, um, it's been brought up a lot of times. With the, with the, work, with right? the Arabic writing, you know, um, I, I think what made you not trust the fragrance in the first place was because it smelled funny. 
So otherwise, you know, because no matter what kind of writing it had on it, mm -hmm. it could be in graffiti, but if it smells good, you're gonna wear it. Yeah, but is that true though? Is there? A we don't. We don't use the real? packaging. We, so there's no such Arabic writing. Um, I've heard about. See, that. I mean, it, it could be from a, a specific vendor, and maybe in the Middle East they they could maybe add something in there, but that's not something that we do. Really? You know, we make not one packaging. Dubai? No, no. We make one packaging for, that's for the planet. Yeah. So you know, whether you get it in New York or London or Italy, I mean, it should be or the Dubai. same. Or Dubai, it should be the same. No, 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 Arabic, no Arabic writing. No, no. We, we do have. We do have um, small of Arabic on the bottom of the boxes. But not the paperwork but inside. No, not the paperwork inside. Really? So, yeah. so that can be suspect if you see That could it. be a suspect, yeah. Okay. Alright, that's that's uh, yeah. I've seen that before. But you know, like again, don't just go by that. Always follow your nose. If it smells funny, something's not right. Something's, something's wrong. just not right. Yeah. You know, in, in Green Irish Tweet it has such a recognizable DNA oh, yeah, yeah. that you would know. Yeah. Maybe if you're a first time wearer. You yeah. probably don't know the difference, but if you wore it before, the minute you spray it on, you'll know. Yeah. My man, yeah. you would know. That's true. Right? The GIT so, has such an amazing opening that yeah. I will know the difference if it's something Correct. wrong with it. Correct. And guys, you know, again, you know, all you guys that live in the United States, you know, we offer free shipping. So there's no need to like, you know, get it in like these like crazy places. Just kind of, you know, reach out to us. You know, a lot of these fragrances come in multiple sizes. Yes. You know, from 175, actually the going right to the one ounce. Up to like a four ounce bottles. I mean, we have every size. You know, call us. Yeah. You know, that way, you're not taking a chance. You know, uh, if you can't reach us, um, you can always you know order online, preboutique.com. Mm -hmm. You know, or go to near, near excuse me, um, nearest email yeah. markets. Yeah. You know, so that is yeah. the best way. Yeah, of course. That way, you have a peace of mind, and you know you're wearing. Well, you know, people the best. people try to save money, and they you know save a couple dollars. And, yeah, I get you know, that. But like, you know, for that, spend a few more dollars and get yeah. the real deal, you know? Yeah, that's and okay. you feel, you know, you can sleep at night. Yeah. You know, because I would rather spend like 200 on a bottle of Ventus and it's fake, I'll be... You're almost there. Yeah, if you're for that, I mean, I'll just spend a little more. And, yeah, you know, just kind of wait a week, save a little more and, you know, yeah. get it. I know. I know. I mean, listen, you know, uh, this is a luxury product, so, I mean, it's it's out of reach for a lot of people. I, I totally get that. But, you know, guys, don't take the shortcut because at the end, you're not going to be happy. And that's just the bottom line. Yeah. It's, it's not accurate. Yeah. So. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Alright, so, like you said, follow your nose. Follow your nose. <laughs> I think I took that first, man. Oh, man. Follow your nose. Oh, so, good question. Thank you, yeah, Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. <laughs> okay, number four. This is from uh, 912 All Day Long. Can people buy Creed Green Valley? Oh, I, I, I love that one. You know, um, it has that, like, um, it's like GIT on steroids, kind of. Yeah, it's kind, it's kind of like um, something like in between original vetiver mm -hmm. and green Irish tweed, you know, but like um, cilantro-ish. Yeah, 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 cilantro. A bit of herb, it has that like super fresh herbaceous yeah. feel. It's kind of like the rolling hills of Scotland. Yeah, no, um, I'm sorry, but that fragrance is definitely out of production. We have we have had some pieces, yeah, I've seen that, pieces yeah, that, yeah. that we've we've actually found and you know we brought into the store and but you know pieces like that that are rare. We actually have a bunch of guys that are always looking for these rare pieces. So the minute it comes in, it's out. we just ship it out right away. So um, but can well, you can you get a bottle? Of no, that? no, no, it's not so a production. Someone called and said, "I want to." Yeah, I mean, the, the best thing that we can do, we can take your name and information, that and number, yeah, contact. Yeah, yeah. and if we come across Very a bottle in the future, you. you know, maybe we, if, after we do inventory in the warehouse, maybe a piece comes up. Some like that, then you know we would call you. But um, so yeah, it's not in production. Okay, so, so there's some um, chance if you want one, you can call and yeah, know this. You, this doesn't hurt. I yeah, mean, but you know, I doubt it though. Yeah, but there's been guys. I'm gonna be honest with you that you know have called us for oh my god, like Angelique Consans and some of these other wow. uh, private collection fragrances, and. Two years later, they get a call from me. <laughs> and they're like shocked. Yeah, they're, they're, like, oh. <laughs> they're like, you know, eating their spaghetti, and they're like, who? Creed? Yeah. What? Lewis? And all of a sudden, they jump up for joy because we, we found so the piece. piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, we ship it to them, and, yeah. and that's how we do it. Yeah. So, but we, we've definitely done that, so we've definitely found some pieces, but it's not in production. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just like uh, the Aventus EO1, I know you found a few of those. Yeah, yeah, correct. I mean, those, those are those things, that's the rarity. It's just because maybe it wasn't rotated you know, mm -hmm. properly. But again, that's it goes to show you we don't really pay attention to the lots. Yeah. If it comes from Mr. Creep, yeah, 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 yeah. Then you're yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. You're good. That's something that's internal that we use to verify um, uh, you know if re the real the real thing. 
or not, but um, again, that's something internal. That we don't base the fragrances solely on lot numbers. A lot of people call, they're like, hey, you guys have yeah, LT4, and I'm like, yeah, what yeah. fragrance is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, you know, you know we don't really, one and yeah, we don't really go by that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we have found some of the zero ones that people have looked for, but those yeah. are from 2011. I mean, yeah, they're, yeah. Not, yeah. they're not in production, so not, we, yeah. we don't make things so like lying around or you can, yeah. yeah, correct. I know you had some recently, that's why I was, yeah. uh, was bringing that up. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you something real quick. This is for me. Mm -hmm. the, the lot number on the Ventus, I, I know it doesn't really matter mm -hmm. to you, but the 2014 ones, like the KO1, it's like in the... It's like not engraved and etched in the bottle. It's printed. It's printed on the bottle. Yeah, yeah that's what we're on the bottle. We, we switch all the time. Okay, okay. Because yeah, people ask me about that. Yeah, again, we have, we have to always constantly... But it's legit though. It's printed with yeah, black yeah, on there, yeah, yeah. it's legit. Correct. Because and I have a lot of questions about yeah. that. You know, um, again, it goes back to um, keeping up with the future. Yeah, yeah. Protecting our brand, which is number one, you know, against all the, all the fakes. So we always have to kind change, of, it up. change it up ever so slightly. Not in a noticeable way. Okay. You know, so, and that's that's the thing. That that just keeps our brand strong, and you know, we keep the integrity of the brand. Yeah. 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 Awesome, man. So yeah, you can't rub that off, can you? And you could pop. You could possibly rub it off. Yeah, okay. you could possibly rub it off. Okay. I mean, if it's clean, that doesn't mean it's fake, though. It comes. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's one thing. You know. Yeah. I mean, people have asked me that. Yeah. If it's ink and glass, I mean, you can definitely rub it off. It comes off still legit. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right, the next question. This is from Boxing Barry. Boxing Barry. I don't want to see this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just bought another bottle of Creed Aventus from an authorized outlet. Why has Creed introduced a new sprayer with no Creed logo engraved on it? Um, again, you know, it's, it's a way of changing the packaging. Um, I, I, don't, I don't really have an answer to why, uh, but I know we change it all the time. Maybe we'll have that again in the future. Yeah, it used to say Creed on top, yeah. and now it's just now it's blank. Right. So that's up to the discretion of yeah. Mr. Creed. That doesn't mean it's fake. Yeah. So people are like, so, oh my God, it doesn't say Creed on top. It's fake. You know? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Again, buy that in a regular place. You don't have. You won't go crazy over these things. Yeah. You guys. People look at all the little fine details. Yeah. And, you know, Which is great. I mean, you're getting a you know a monumental fragrance, but don't don't just like super analyze. If you get something from our store, creepyteeth.com or Neiman Marcus, you're good. Again, I want to really stress that you don't have to worry. You're wearing something authentic. You're gonna have you know a great time with your fragrance. You know when you buy them from these like unauthorized places, that's that's where you get all this yeah. all this commotion. People like screaming about lot numbers yeah. and you know packaging and, and all that. So um, again, just get it from an authorized retailer and you're good. Yeah, you're set. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Next. Have a good day. Goodbye. This is from Gulam, Gulam Ali. Ali. It says, okay, yeah, I'll give us my favorite cream fragrance is Silver Mountain Water. That's great. By far. Yes, I like it more than great, the Great <laughs> Aventus. Yep. I get so many compliments I when I wear Silver, Silver Mountain Water. Water. But Silver I don't think Silver Mountain Water gets the love that it deserves. Why do you yeah, think that is so? Do you know which one? Um, I, I don't, you know, um, there's not one better than another. I, I always say, again, find a fragrance that extends who you are. You know, Silver Mountain Water, it has a very stylish way about it. It's very chic. Art it's, is it's, Yeah, it's, an, it's, it's androgynous. Right. Yeah, it's abstract, and that's yeah, why yeah. it's hard to describe. It's abstract, so if you're artistic, you have style, you probably want to rock so, Silver Mountain Water over Aventus. Aventus is a little bit more macho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so it's, it's, it's probably a little bit, um, uh, it diffuses more so people smell it more, but we sell a lot of Silver Mountain, you guys. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. also, Women wear Silver Mountain just as much as guys do. Yeah. So if you're looking at it at a financial point of view, it's it's not that far behind the fences. Yeah, yeah. Silver Mountain water it has a, wears all year long. And we did a review on Silver Mountain. Yeah. I remember at that time when I was here yeah. before we shot the video, people were buying it like crazy. Yep, yeah. it's all the time. On Christmas time. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, we just got back in uh, yesterday the 500 ml of Silver Mountain. I mean, we had a waiting list. So Silver Mountain is great, my man. Keep enjoying it, you know. We <laughs> trust me; it's in production, and we sell a lot of it. So yeah. It's not that it's um, less loved. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's just different. But it's you know, different. Aventus takes the spotlight, so I guess you know. Yeah, but it's also the new one. Yeah, it's yeah, also the yeah, new yeah. guy. You know, yeah, Silver Mountain. Yeah. We've had for a while. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What year did Silver Mountain want to come out? 2012. 2012. So no, 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 no,
It slipped my mind. Honestly, I'll, I'll get that for you. I can't believe I forgot. I heard this came out in 2010. 2010, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It came out in the 2000s. Aventus Avent is a baby, you know. I, again, like Green Irish Tweed, you know, that's another one that people are saying, well, it's, Aventus is much better than Green Irish Tweed. I still think that Green Irish Tweed is the king. Yeah, you know, Green that, Irish that Tweed. I knew it was not 1985. Yeah, yeah but it was number one for like over 25 yeah. years. And Aventus, you know? Aventus is yeah. amazing, amazing. Yeah. Everybody knows. But it's still a baby in, in, in Creed. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, it's, it's the baby still. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure um, you know, in, in, in the future we may see something that will give Aventus a run for its money. Uh, that's so, gonna, wow. Know, right? so, I would love to see that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would love to see that. Yeah. Well, you know, you always have to have a diversity. I mean, nothing, you can't have fragrances that are alive. That's how you develop a collection. A lot of people yeah. are like, why wear Aventus? What do you have that's like that? Yeah. That's the wrong question. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, it's we don't have anything like that. That's why we have it. Yeah. It because it was different everything, than everything, everything else. Different. So every you know we develop unique products. Yeah. You know, you want to extend who you are. That's how you find a signature scent. But our product is all about um, you know a piece of luxury. Yeah, yeah. You know, pieces of nature, but yeah. in a luxurious way. Yeah. So yeah. And the bottles are nice too. The bottles, when you oh, finish, you don't throw the bottle away. You keep it as, you know. Yeah, a lot of people keep the bottles. <laughs> I know, it's, it's hard to let go of that. Yeah. I know. Oh, I know. Those black ones are awesome. Yeah, the other bottles, like the Chanel or the Dolce Gabbana, you finish and you throw it in the garbage. It's clean, you bottle, well, you keep I mean, if it's, you know, if it's a nice color, you may want to keep it. But, you <laughs> yeah. know, there's been a few, like that Rocha bottle. You know, that's oh, like yeah, the cone. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And it's really not yeah. another bottle that's like that. So yeah, you may yeah. want to keep that yeah. one. You know, but yeah, Creed bottles, I mean, they're, they're really, um, they're really, yeah, they're, they're done really they're, nice. There's been a lot of thought put behind them, you know, they're all made by Poche. You know, so. I mean, these, these are, that's what that, yeah, these are from the, um, the Royal Exclusive, yeah, these are all hand blown. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's a piece of art. Yeah. I agree. I totally yeah. agree. Okay, moving on. This is from Khalid Al Muradai. Khalid Al Muradi. Muradi. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Muradi. Okay, so Khalid, this is for you. Are you affiliated with the Cree Boutique in Dubai? Because the last time I went there, about a year ago, they didn't even have all the Cree. The only, the, the only, they only had like 10 of them. Yeah, um, that's a good question. Yes, uh, we are. Them? Well, I don't, I don't, they have more than 10. Yeah, that's kind but, of But, you know, depending on where you go, you may find different uh, items. Like, for example, I know that in Dubai, in the Mall of Dubai, that's where it is, uh, they don't carry the Creed atomizers, okay. where we have them here. Uh, I don't really know why, but I know some collections are bigger than others. Just depends on the market, what's in demand, you know. Um, and I just want to say, hello, Mahmoud. He works at um, the Creed Dubai store. So, so you, you, you keep up the good work. Absolutely. Your contact. Yeah, we definitely have contact. And this is how I can tell you about, you know, um, that fake Creed... Adventist spray deodorant. Okay, okay. You know, people were saying that it's available throughout the Middle East, so I called my guy out there and he definitely said, I remember, yeah, we yeah. don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> we would love a product like that, but it's not, it's not something the that we make. Spray. Yeah. And people do call here, they, they've asked us if it's real. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. But yeah, so some stores carry more than others. Even here in the US, if you go to Neiman Marcus, uh, maybe Ohio, you'll find less than like Houston or Dallas. You know, those are big stores and they would have a huge full counter. So again, demographic and of course space. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, space is always the issue. You know, can they carry everything? So, yeah. Okay. But it's definitely a real store yeah, in yeah. the Mall of Dubai. The Dubai Mall, excuse me. Oh, the Mall of Dubai. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah. Dubai. Mahmoud. Yeah, Mahmoud. 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 Shout out to you. All right, buddy. Okay, next question is from Green Discussion. Green Discussion. All right. What do you think about Kuros? Oh my god. So you call it a masterpiece. What about Dior Leather Oud as well? You know what? Um, Dior Leather Oud it has a vet in there that I cannot... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little tough. It's a yeah, little I tough. Can, I don't like that. I'll be honest <laughs> with you, I don't like that. Purpose. It's a little tough. But you know what? Talking about Chorus in 2015, I mean... Why is it? Has it been a successful fragrance? Did you rock that ever? I did rock white that, bottle. the white one, and they, they actually had like a fresh yeah, one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah, so I did rock that. It was really like unusual because it's kind of like dry and musky. Yeah, it's, it's you know. Very, so yeah, back in different. back in the eighties, absolutely. I mean, you know. What do you think about it now? Uh, I had a bottle right now. You know, uh, I have more knowledge now about fragrances. I know why people like it. I know the appeal. Is, is it me now? No, I, I don't really wear fragrances like that anymore. But I can tell you that it's been a successful fragrance oh, all yeah. these years. I mean, and it's still production. Absolutely. You know, uh, 
I think it's a pretty long lasting scent. Oh yeah, it is. My brother well, used to wear that. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. been reformulated. The original one was like uh, you put it on in the whole room you smell it. I think it's yeah. a little bit more toned down now. I remember um, it being yeah, to be very I, heavy. Yeah, I, I I mean but but also when we were young, you know, it's it's different. We we see everything it's yeah, so yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then now we're older, yeah, yeah. we're like, we yeah, see everything yeah, yeah. a little bit more controlled. But Coros, yeah, that was a that was a huge mod, like said, that was made by um UI. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. he's one made a cool water. That's the guy. That's the guy. Yeah. Now Big guy. Do you see it as a masterpiece, Coros? You know what? A fragrance that's lasted Times. more than twenty years? Absolutely. Okay. I, you know, I, maybe I, not masterpiece, not to tone it down in any way. I want to say it's a monumental fragrance. Yes, yeah. I, I think monumental is the, is the perfect word because um, as we go further in time, you know, there are fragrances that come into the market that are monumental and that kind of set the trend for others to follow, and that's one of them. So, yeah. absolute masterpiece, but more monumental because it's like if you look at perfume books, I mean, it's definitely there as, you know, as a big one. So, like Pierre Bourdon, good I like job. Like yeah, that. monumental. Body Coros too is another one. Body, <laughs> body Coros. Body Coros. Have like a cotton candy vibe. It's like a totally different yeah. fragrance. No, no, not me. Not you. Not me. <laughs> not me. I like the the More fresh. Fresh. Yeah. The fresh and I the original. That. No, yeah, that, that, that was out for a little while. Yeah, I gotta compare those on there. I'm I, I, yeah, I think that year like Jean Paul Gaultier released that. Really? The more like oh, fresh. Oh, oh. So, you know, uh, people say that Coros from Cannes smells like uh, urinal. <laughs> I've read that yeah, in some yeah, places. I, I never got that, but I've read that, that it, it has like a yeah. urinal kind of vibe to it. So, uh, Guys, stop hanging around the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> and the Dior, the leather oud, I'm not even going to go there with that. So. Yeah, I mean, listen, when, when it comes to oud, I mean... But I don't get oud, I just get that cat urine. Yeah, I, I know. Maybe because I know it's in there and I'm smelling it or... <laughs> There's so many variations now. I mean, that is it's an ingredient that... It's really taken, like, and Molly. yeah, <laughs> the fragrance community by storm, and America by storm, and you, you, you're starting to see all these brands that uh, are playing around with oud. You know, uh, my advice with that, kind of take it easy a little bit, don't overdose. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean that? Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. About oud fragrances I'll in general. The, the in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but, that but, cat, yeah, I know what you mean. Or whatever it is. Yeah. I well, I mean, synthetic. I mean, it doesn't really come from yeah, the cat anymore, but it's the idea. But I'm saying, but, you know, the thought of it, you smell it, it's just, you know, cap captures you. Yeah, you, but you know why perfumers use it? I mean, if you think about it, it's, it's kind of foul. Why would you put that in a fragrance? It must have something to it. It has an attraction. Yeah. And, you know, um, like a pheromone kind of... Yeah, I mean, there is a sexy way about it, and it smells like dirty skin. I mean, in reality, some people are attracted to that yeah, kind yeah, of sense. Yeah, it has to be something. So it's, it's, there, used in a lot it's there to trigger the instinct yeah, part of you. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, moving on. This is from Ozan Lan. Ozan Lan. Ozan Lan. All right. My question is, why does why do we in Scandinavia do not find 100 ml bottles of cream? We do have 75 ml bottles only. Thank you guys and good luck, Ozan from Norway. Norway. Wow. I was actually um, uh, I've been to Scandinavia actually three times, uh, but it was in Sweden. Uh, great people. I love the culture. Very clean. Um, clean, very green yeah, country. Yeah, I mean, people are very green, like they really care about the environment. You would never really see like a piece of paper on the floor. Like, if you throw a piece of paper, like, that would be like, <laughs> the worst thing you do, like, they come after you, you know. Uh, but why, um, you know, in different markets, it's just different things, you know. So, again, it just may not, it's not available in your market. D it depends on maybe the distributor in that region, uh, what they can get. Um, you know, it's, I don't really have the question for that. I just can tell you that there you go to like big cities mm -hmm. and you can find a bigger selection. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know that um, I've had that question from a couple people that buy their creed in Moscow. At um, there's an outlet there called Zoom. It's a very high end mm -hmm. uh, department store. Similar, I guess you would compare that to like a Bert of Goodman or or oh. an Emir Marcus uh, back in, in in Russia. And they only carry the 75 mils, mm -hmm. and they're about $800, wow. I reckon. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, different countries, it's, it's different fees and yeah. duties and taxes. So, you know, I don't really know why they carry that you know, only, but it just is. So, yeah. you know, um, my advice, try to find somebody who's traveling to maybe some of the other countries, like Italy or France, definitely, oh, France, London, yeah. or even in the U.S., and, you know, and 
have them have them bring one back home for you. Yeah. That would be that would be my advice to you because I know it's kind of hard to find well, in some countries. You said how much? They come with us. Is it one twenty an hour? Yeah, that's what he meant. Yeah. He meant the, he meant the one twenty. They always yeah. confuse the yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, hundred ml size. 120 you you ml. see that? Yeah, so common. That's yeah. so common. Yeah, yeah. Ours is hundred and twenty ml. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's really that's what he meant. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. All right, good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Sorry. So the next question. Moving on. It's from Christian Silva. I think he was. He had some questions in the last. Oh yeah. Game. Christian. If I'm not. You're a curious him. guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep them coming. By the way. If you want to see part four, I have some more questions for part four, believe it or not. Right. There's a lot of questions. Wow. You could comment down below on this video and give us more questions. I remember we'll keep it rolling. It'll be an ongoing series. All right. <laughs> the next question, Christian, have you two ever heard of the cologne brand Santa Maria Novella? Absolutely. They have a boutique in NYC. Yeah, downtown. Um, I have not been to their boutique, but I know their product. They used to sell them actually uh, closer to our part of the city. In Midtown, they used to be um, available in a store called Takashimaya. Okay. I don't know if you remember them. They used to be on Fifth Avenue, but um, yeah, that's that's a very nice collection. It's um, the monks are the ones who create this fragrance. Really? Uh, actually, I have no, I never heard of this. Yeah, actually, uh, I've purchased uh, the vetiver soap from them a couple of times. How so was it? It's good. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, it's really nice. Okay. You know, it's it's a very um, it's a very nice collection. Very nice collection. Very old world. Like the packaging is old world. So wow. if you kind of nice. yeah, if you like. You know, like that, um, just kind of like old world feel. Then you know, you would you would like Santa Maria Novella. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Christian. There you go. <laughs> He's heard of that. I never. I never. Yeah. Heard of that. Yeah. The monks. Yeah. They're like churning butter up there. <laughs> oh man, I gotta look that up tonight. I'm yeah, Santa up. Maria Novella. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, it's one of the old old great houses. Yeah. All right, Christian. There you go. I knew you. I knew you gonna know that. I was like. Hey, well, was Number 12, question number 12, no, not number 12, this is just random, I'm like reading something else. Alright, this is from Farid, Farid, Far. Farid, thank you for your question. Let's this see. is not question number 12, disregard that, this is just one of the random questions that I chose, and it says, this is for Lewis, which Creed scent is the most expensive? Which Creed is your most prized treasure in your collection? Wow, that's great. You know, um, we do have a couple expensive creeds. I mean, you know, like the one I'm wearing today, the pure white cologne. I'm wearing it too. Yeah, I mean, so, <laughs> the day. yeah. So any of the fragrances from the um, Royal Exclusives, you can actually get them. Um, they they in gild gold, them right? in gold. Yeah, yeah, I saw and, that. Yeah, and those. We had one here. The other day. Yeah, the spice and Whitting, yeah. and we sold it. Yeah. So five, five grand. Five thousand dollars. You know, so it's and it's, it's kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like dipped in gold in a way. I mean, they do it by hand, but let's just say because it looks like it's been dipped. You know, so um, those gold gilded bottles retail for five thousand dollars. You know, so that's probably the most expensive fragrance that we offer to the public. But um, the most prized, I have to say, is one that we still have a couple pieces, and that's called Royal Service. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, I knew it. I was but why? Why Royal Service? Why? Why would it be that one? Because I, I do I know because I, I was here not a. a, a a few, uh, like a year ago. Yeah. And you had a few pieces of yeah, it. Yeah, I was asking you about it. Yeah. You like, it's $1,800. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, that's so, why I thought it was a yeah, service. It retails around that price point. It's but, $1,800? Yeah. 1800 Yeah, yeah. So, but it's, it's, it's not the most expensive, but why is it the most prized? Again, it's... Oh, the most prized. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's the most prized because it's monumental. Okay. You see, um, the Royal Exclusives Collection was introduced to celebrate the 250 year anniversary but Royal Exclusive, that was the that was the piece, that was the star of the Christmas tree. You mean That's Royal Service? Royal, excuse me, yeah, excuse me, Royal Service. Yes. So that was, you know, the pinnacle. Yes. So, you know, it's it was a 250 year anniversary. I mean, that is serious. So you have one shot to get this fragrance. They made 1,000 bottles for the world. Yes. They're all laser numbered. Yes, I remember they have a few of them. Yeah, yeah, they have a number around the neck. And what then, size they come in? Uh, I can't remember the size. I want to say it was like service? it was under it was like 200 ml, five ounces, maybe 200 ml, something like that. And your price was 1800. I said yeah, it was around 1800. Yeah. But um, that fragrance it really uh, is the pinnacle. Uh, you know, it's it's just. What does it smell like? Can you, you know, everybody know yeah. That? Actually, you know what? The way it was built, it was really interesting, and it kind of. Um, it's 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 really a Creed scent, and it really has the DNA inside. So basically, what they did is they they built a timeline 
from uh, 1760 up until um, the year that it was produced, and they took from that timeline all the fragrances that were monumental, the yeah. same word. And then from those, incorporated they selected them. some ingredients and they kind of blended it and together. Did you get that when you smelled it? You Absolutely. It? Yeah, I mean, it has different faces. So when, like when you put it on, it smells a little like love and wine. It, it smells a little like pure cologne. It smells a little bit like florissimo. It smells like a few. If you know the Creek collection, you kind of get that and as, as you wear it. Okay. You know, so it's a fragrance that was made to tribute all the royal families that they have served in the past 250 years. So that would be. The top fragrances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, top fragrance yeah. that we that we are offering. Yeah. I know that we have a couple pieces left. Um, of royal service. Of royal service. Yeah. Can you get that now? If like, someone called up and said, "I want royal yes. service," yes, you can get it. Yes. So if you want royal service? Call two one two four three nine seven 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 seven. So yeah, I mean, you know, again, this is such a special piece. Would you wear it if you had it, or would you just like <laughs> keep it in your collection? Yeah. yeah. The bottle was nice. Oh too. my god, it's different. The bottle. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. It, it, it emulates those bottles a little bit, but it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I you know, if, if I had, if I was, you know, I don't have that one. You don't own that? I don't own oh. that. Um, but if I did, Surprised. I would probably just keep it to look at it because it's just so treasured. And, you know, that's really, um, you know, I, I want to say that that's probably Mr. Creed's pinnacle fragrance because, you know, it really represents it really, something big. It really is all that. Then. It's, it's a not piece just, of history. Yeah, okay. Piece of history. Some, some people might. Create. Some people might say, ah, one thousand hundred dollars. Well, you know. Yeah, well, you I, know. I mean, you know, listen, we live in a market where like you can put a price on anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there. I know there are a couple other brands. I don't want to name anybody else, yeah, but yeah. you know, I know they, they sell fragrances for eleven $1, hundred, twelve yeah, hundred. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, so you know, I don't. I don't the pricing of the issue. I think it's you know it's really a collector's piece. Yes, no, the bottle was amazing. I remember it's, 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 it's like it's like a Babe Ruth. I mean, yeah. like baseball. Yeah. You know, like, and what what what's what's the price on that? I mean, yeah. it's like how much it means to you. Yes, you know, just, yes. So, so yeah. So that's a that's a great question. So, um, the gold edition bottles of the Royal Exclusives that's probably the most expensive that's available to the public today. Yes, but. The pinnacle set that we have to offer to the public at this moment Price treasure would is. be Royal Service. Royal Service. Yes. I, I had a feeling you were gonna say Royal Service. Yeah, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but the the gold the gold flat home the, the spice level is really nice too. I, mean, I remember seeing. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, it's I luxury. Like, wow, that's nice. I mean, you know, five thousand is a lot of money. It's definitely like you said. Money. Like you said, everything has its price. You know? Yeah. I mean, you know, um, and the ones that we sold out of the store. Believe it or not, it, it, they will purchase for other people. I mean, they will purchase to give as gifts. You know, the person who has everything, what would you get them? Yeah. So this is a little bit a more um, of a custom, mm -hmm. custom thing. And your name is on it. Ah, uh, yeah. You can put your initials on the front. Yeah, you know, okay. and, and you know, again, uh, it's not something you get right away. I mean, it's a four-month wait. Wow. So you know, once we put the order, it takes a little time to get it from France. But when it comes in, I mean, it's really um, it's stunning. So if you want one of those, call. <laughs> you want a, a, a Royal Exclusive dipped in gold with your initials? Absolutely. Why not? Give us a call. Why not? Give us a call. You know, Christmas right. is around the corner. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> Royal Service too. Royal Service. Royal Service. Wow. Breathtaking. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever rock Royal Service? What, you know, we actually had a tester on the counter. And you, you rocked it, uh, right? So I wore it many times. All right. You know, I was, I was kind of sad um, <laughs> that uh, we finished our, our supply, you know. Because it's, it's not that we could have requested more testers, they just, yeah, the production ended. Yeah, yeah. So they sent X amount of pieces, X amount of testers, and that was it. Wow. So, yeah, so Royal Service is a great one. Yeah, I think yeah. They, I think you let me smell it too. I can't remember what it smells like, yeah. but I remember when I smelled it, was, it was breathtaking. Yeah, it's, a, it's on the fresher realm. Yeah, and I remember I got a fresh one, but I couldn't, like, it was hard to explain it. I was like, wow, yeah. this is just, like, you know, breathtaking. Yeah. I mean, it's, again, monumental fragrance. You know, every once in a while, you know, you get these pieces. From um, from different companies that really kind of you know, boom. Yeah. They just make a big imprint in the that's, industry. That's awesome. I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. Limited run, a special monumental fragrance. Yeah. Has a lot of meaning behind it. Takes you on a journey. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's emotional. Yeah. You know, it's emotional. Has a lot of meaning behind it. Yeah. And then also, you know, you're talking about seven generation of master perfumery that went into that fragrance. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. You know, well, serious perfumery. Royal okay. service. Maybe. Yes. Yes. All right, three more questions and we're going to wrap this up. All right. Three more questions. We're at the, getting towards the end. Next question is from, it's an email from someone named, a uh, guy named Jacob. Jacob. Hello. What's up, Jacob? Uh, this is, says, I watched Al's review of Musk Ravageur. Yeah. And I want to ask Lewis, what do, you, what do you think about Musk Ravageur? 
Yeah, you know, uh, Mousse Ravageur is another, like, um, it's another fragrance. Parfum. Yeah, from Yeah, from Edition Saint Parfum that um, really took um, that musk ingredient that a lot of people fear. Because, you know, when you hear musk, you have two reactions. You have, like, ooh, or you have, like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mousse Ravageur was a fragrance that kind of, like, took that musk made it wearable and really elevated and kind of took the fear out of a lot of people. Uh, and it works dynamic on both men and women. Um, it, has, um, it has a lot of labdanum mm -hmm. inside, which is a really delicious ingredient with, with the vanilla. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, um, it has a nice, really nice Yeah, product. yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. It's nice on that. Yeah, I mean, it's a great, like, 12-hour scent. I mean, oh, yeah, that, yeah. that fragrance, like, it keeps going, and the warmer you get, yeah, and yeah. it just... The opening though, some people, the clove, when the opening has like a clove kind mm -hmm. of opening, some people kind of like, you know, want to get past the opening to that beautiful, yeah, so um, that can dry down. You know, again, it's that's that's personal. Some people like some opening people like, of fragrances, yeah, yeah. some people like dry downs. Like Angel Man, you know what yeah, I Yeah, or like Aventus. People like pineapple. People yeah, yeah. keep calling me. I want the one with the most pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, <laughs> no smoke. <laughs> that, that's a crazy question. You know, Aventus <laughs> is a fresh wood. Yeah, we use pineapple in there, but that's that's not a com the complete yeah, yeah, yeah. fragrance, you know. So, um, yeah, so some people like the beginning, some people like the dry down. Again, Mousse Gravageur was um, was another monumental fragrance that kind of elevated. Yes, Maurice, and, Maurice, yeah, yeah, Maurice Roussel. Um, you know, uh, he did. Um, did, it's, uh, it's funny because you know the, voyage. this had labdanum in it, yeah. and if, if you smell the wine from Le Labo called labdanum, this is similarity. Okay, you can. It's like a more watery um, version of Mousse Gravageur. Okay, yeah. Uh, he did actually uh, Rochelle also. Yeah, yeah, and he did Nordica Voyage. Yeah. And he did Du Hall from Bonham and that. Long Stunt from Guerlain. I mean, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, a, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. Nice he's, library. He's got a lot of stuff. I actually. Uh, Nordica Voyage. I've met him a couple times. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Maurice. Yeah. Nordica so, Voyage is a good, is a good fragrance. It's cheap. Yeah. Good. For, correct. Yeah. For cheap fragrance. Oh, you know, he did also. He did Nordica Blue also. also. Oh, really? Yeah. Nordica Blue. Dude, Nordica's alright. <laughs> All right, did I cut you off? No, 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 oh, okay. no, no. I cut you off. No, right. that's good. All right. So that Jacob, that was great. That was yeah. a good question. Uh, Mousse Gravageur. Mousse yeah. Gravageur. You, you rock Mousse Gravageur, obviously. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I go through my faces where like I find a fragrance that I like and I kind of overdose. So I was wearing Mousse Gravageur probably around um, like 2004, 2003. Yeah, they have oil, oil too with that, right? Yeah, it's like a, like a body oil. Yeah. Correct. It's like a dry oil. I mean, you know, those oils, you know, they don't really take the place of the fragrance. Yeah, yeah. You have more essential oil in the actual fragrance. Yeah. The essential oil is what, that's the scent. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get the, that. Yeah, and the dry, and that oil, it's not all essential oil. There's, some, there's different kinds of oils. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And you wore it for like the whole year straight? You know, 2000, oh, yeah. 2000. Yeah, I wore that to <laughs> I wore that to death. Your must have George and self yeah, yeah. <laughs> Must have. <laughs> the dry down is heavy. You know, it's, it, it, it's funny because, you know, um, when when you speak with somebody you know that, that speaks French, you know, like the, they don't say musk, they say musk, 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 yeah, musk, sure. musk yeah, I'm saying it like, just sounds really funny, like on the tongue, right? Yeah, I'm like, saying like a it sounds really cool, it sounds really like sexy, like musk, yeah, yeah, yeah. musk, 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 Laurent. 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 musk, Laurent. 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 Nice. I love it. All right, moving on. Next question from George. It's an email from George. George, what's up, George? Love Seinfeld. Why? Do, <laughs> <laughs> why did uh, the color change on the Virgin, uh, Virgin Island water tap from blue to silver? You know, um, yeah. Again, to the again, times. yeah. We just kind of changed that up a little bit. No, no, no reformulation. No, 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 no. Um, like, oh my gosh, reformulated. You no, know, something changes. Cosmetics. Yeah, no. Virgin Island water um, is still the same composition. We just changed the packaging. It's nothing not different. Yeah. Nothing different. Just like the atomizers yeah. and this. I, I, you know, it just it, it looks nice with the with the um, the silver label and the blue, the yeah, blue yeah. writing. It you know, it's kind of like I don't know if you remember the older Rolfa uh, boxes. You know Rolfa. Of course. Back before, it used to have a, a ship on there. I know that. You know, now it just says a Rolfa. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But but back, if you if you guys um, Google uh, create a Rolfa, hit images and just kind of scroll down, you'll see some pictures where it has the ship. Oh, wow. So it's just you know aesthetically moving to the times. It's kind of you know. No. You know, I missed the Cree family thought that it was just, you know, yeah, yeah. a change. That, a change, yeah. That looks how it's changed it up. Yeah. 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 You know, we, like, again, we, we change things ever so slightly, but yet yeah, still tasteful. Yeah, yeah. So it's not a radical change, but it still looks really nice. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. No, not reformulated. No, 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 not reformulated. <laughs> yeah. Virgin Island water, you know. Amazing. 
it's, it's really funny because um, a lot of people come in and they're like, oh, I read about this like island stuff. <laughs> and and, and, and they, they, they come in with like this curiosity and when they spray it on, they're like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that. It, it's nothing like what I thought. I thought it was gonna be sticky yeah. or like really like sweet. It's not like that at all. It's delicious. You know, I just think that everybody has that memory where they, you know, they just went to the ocean and played on the beach or they were, in a, you know, yeah, yeah. that kind of scenario yeah, yeah. and everybody wants to go there. Yeah. You know, that's, so what, that's what it takes you. It takes you to the beach. It takes you right there. Yeah. I love that fragrance. Such an amazing yeah. you know, composition. Yep. That's, that to me is like, is the beach, you know? Like yeah. when I smell that. Uh, I, wear, I wear it a lot in the summertime. I love it, I know. Oh man. I know. The, <laughs> kind of, the, the, the coconut in that is, wow. <laughs> it's great. It it's is, great. it really is. It's great. One of the best coconut fragrances out there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of coconut fragrances, but this one no, is they, they did really, it right. really, really balanced. Yeah. They did it right. Yeah. All right, the last question. This is it for part three. Okay. We're going to have to have part four because I have a lot more. We'll, all right. We'll be here all night. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please comment down below. You know, throw some questions yeah. our way, and we'll release a part four in the near future, right? All right. The next one is funny. It's about Ero Erolfa. All right. This is from Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> What's up, Caesar? Caesar. It says, first, I want to say you guys are amazing, and you make a great team. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate that. And Thank second, you. I want to uh, say I went on a boat trip, uh, and I wore Erolfa, and wow, did it go so well yeah. with the boat trip. Uh, what do you guys think of Erolfa? You know, and that's the last yeah. question. Erolfa is one of the fragrances that a lot of people don't know, believe it or not. You know, um, I think in the past like two years, um, Creed has captured a, a brand new client. You know, and um, a lot of guys are coming in for Aventus because they've heard about it, they've read about it, they smelled it on someone. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and Aventus, yeah, you should get it. But, you guys, we have a whole array of fragrances. You know, Erolfa is one of those, maybe we, it doesn't get that much air time, but it's really nice. Yeah. You know, aquatic, salt, yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, Erolfa is a signature for some people all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but we definitely sell more of it in the warm weather. Yeah, it's very ocean, but it's different than Virgin Island. Virgin Island is more tropical, tropical yeah. beach. Where Erolfa is more like deep ocean. Yeah, yeah. So think of being like sailing. You're you're in the Mediterranean, or you're in, in, in the Pacific, or in, you know, in you know one of these. Uh, in, in the um, you're in Bora Bora, like yeah, of, yeah. of the coast. Yeah. You know, so it's it definitely so yeah. Well, okay. it, it has it has that. Um, it feels like that salty breeze that yeah, you catch. That salty sea breeze. Yeah. That wow. salty sea breeze. It's really like that. So it's not sweet. It's on the saltier side. So well, it's done so well though. It's done really well. Yeah, it really yeah. is. I, you know, if, if you smell a roll thought, it's it's just very um it's 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 tailored yeah, yeah. beautifully. Yeah. It's you know, it just it dingles with like little flicks of salt just kinda come off. It's yeah. really, like, little little fireworks of salt. Yeah. It's really nice. I'm gonna take a boat trip and wear a roll roll for now. <laughs> we talked about yeah, a boat, yes, yeah. Yes. So we, we need we'll to wear a roll for when we all want right. to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always, I always wear my fragrances accordingly. Accordingly, yeah. You know, the Rolf is gonna get yeah. percent. For, you know, if, if we're gonna go to like you know Connecticut to like see a polo game, pure white cologne for me. Oh yeah, I can see so that. I can see I'm that. definitely you know that. that. But if we're definitely you know head on a boat, definitely. How about a barbecue in the backyard? Well, the barbecue in the backyard, I, I can use Virgin Island for that too, uh, because you know one of the things that you know my my. Friends and family like to drink, you know, it's Ciroc coconut, yeah, okay. you know, with pineapple so juice. Goes, goes. So it kind of goes with that, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I love that Virgin Island when you drink a little like coconut syrup. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of goes hand in hand. And of course, you know, it's summertime. You have a white T-shirt yeah, yeah, yeah. on. You're in sandals. It's just yeah. perfect. The sun's beaming on you. You can have yeah. vitamin D from the sun. You're feeling good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Virgin yeah. Island water. This makes you feel that much better. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Barbecue the summer. Barbecue, barbecue. You guys come to my house. Invite, you all invited. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. This is the Q and A part three with my man Lewis. Thank you so oh, much, man. Thank you so I really much. Appreciate this. You know, um, again, I want to congratulate you on all your success. Oh man, thank you. You know, there's, there's, thank a, there's you. a lot of people that actually recognize me and Rodney and Emerson. We're like in the street. All of a sudden. That's you know, awesome. they're like street sense. Wow, wow. <laughs> you know, really which is really cool. So, so it's kind of fun. You know, and again, you know, everybody out there, thank you so much um, for helping us be a success and getting the word out. You know, um, and just keep rocking your creed, you guys. Yeah, you know? thank you, thank you, so to thank you, you. Ronnie, everybody, subscribers. Thank you so much. I mean, thank you guys too. It means a lot to me. It really yeah. does. You know, I, 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 I'm having a great time. I really am. My journey 
is yeah. ongoing. Well, you know, that's, that's the thing. You, you know, you always keep it fresh, and it's definitely entertaining. And, you know, I think clients are, um, a lot of the guys from the Freaks community, you know, they just take it home a little bit different than just a poster ad, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. from what you get, the visual, you know, so. You know, oh, awesome work out. Okay, thank you. Good, thanks. I wish you much, much, much success. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank you. It's yeah. My man, Lewis, right here. I mean, again, thank you so much. I mean, I, I can't say anything on, on that ending. Uh, if you have any questions, send me a message. Shoot me an email. Fragrance Fanatic, the number one at yahoo.com. Comment down below. Part four coming soon. We still got to do a... Uh, Vintage Tyrone. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's and a big one. The history of Creed. So that's right. Yeah. So we're yeah. gonna go that. Vintage Tyrone. It's, it's a ghosty, guys. Yeah, we're gonna talk don't, about. We that. don't have that one. No, no. We're, we're gonna talk about. We don't have that one. People are going crazy. You know. And just real quick, I know we're going, but it's really funny because the last time we bottled that was oof, more than ten years ago, like fifteen years ago. But bottles of that are still pristine. The shelf life of an authentic Creed fragrance. Is almost, I don't want to say endless, but it's very, very, very long. You know, so you know, no matter if, if you get your creed from an authentic source, that's why we say you're good because even if it's on the shelf for a little while, you're fine. Don't be so wrapped up against these lot numbers, you guys. You know, fragrances that are made authentically last; they stand the test of time. All right. So, I'll leave you guys with that. One more thing, I want to say, I'm a huge Creed fan. You know, I love Creed. I don't come here to like, you know, round nose or any of that. I know he's a salesman, but he's an amazing guy. It's not, he's, not, he's, not about, he's not about selling Creed. It's not about me brown nosing or anything. You know, people, I don't really think that, you know, I've heard some people say, you know, you didn't get one or a couple of negative comments. That, oh, Alice, you know, kissing up to Creed or Lewis, whatever, whatever. They, it's not like that. Yeah. This guy is the true, real deal. He loves fragrances. He's not trying to sell anybody a fragrance. He's not here to sell you Creed. I'm here, you know why I'm here? Because I love Creed. I'm here because I love Creed. I love talking about Creed. I want people to see what Creed's all about. It's not about me kissing up to Creed or any of that. This is about my passion for Creed, my love for Creed. That's why I'm always here. That's why I'm filming here. Because I just love to, you know, talk about Creed. I said, why not? Put in the video, you know, yeah, put in yeah, the videos. I really appreciate that. You know, so I want, yeah. I want to clear the air on that. It's yeah. not about me kissing, you know, brown nosing to you or you vice versa. We're, we're, me and him are good friends off camera. Absolutely. We're good friends. I text them, you know, on New Year's, Happy yeah. New Year. And we're going to be barbecuing, hanging out on boats. You know, we hang out. Yeah. We're friends. Yeah. He's more than a salesman, trust me. You know, you come in here, he treats everybody. Top notch, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even just saying this. No. So I want to make sure that yeah, yeah. people come in here, you know, um, they expect a level of respect, and, and you get to everybody in a level of service. And we definitely, you yeah. know, myself and my team, you know, oh, we say definitely you guys are amazing. You, Ronnie, yeah. Harrison, the whole Creed team, amazing guys. And I, I love Creed with the passion. I mean, I'm a huge Creed guy. You know, I wear Creed probably the most in all my fragrances. So that's why I do this Creed video. It's not about me coming here and it's about me. We're friends and I love Creed and hey, let's take it here we are. And it's going to keep keep going. We're going to keep doing this. So I know you guys, the majority of my subscribers, 99.9% of them, they love it. They love when I'm here. They love seeing us on camera. We're going to continue to do this. And thank you so much. Couple of negative comments I saw. I just forget. Let me just you know. It's okay. That. It's alright. I mean, listen. You're gonna, gonna get that, you know. Yeah, but it's okay. Not, you know, I want to be honest with you. Not everybody can find a creed that works in them. Exactly. That's, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's That's totally okay. You know, um, I, the, <laughs> it's really funny because a lot of my family they work creed now, <laughs> and I work here. Yeah, they smell me, and they're like, I want to smell like you. So a lot of a lot of people in my family wear it, but. I do have a brother-in-law. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you out here. <laughs> he wears Curve wow. from this Playboy. Wow. But guess what? Cool. It smells really good in him. Yeah, yeah. And he's been here several times, and we sample him and things. But it's, it's not. He, he hasn't really found his, his one here. But it's okay. It's, it's fine. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, that yeah. extent who he is. Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. You know. It's called yeah. Super Mountain Morris. It's just fragrance, yeah, guys, you know. But we're definitely the people business. And yeah. that's, you know, I try to always um, really make sure that everybody knows that. We're, we're in the, we, we work in fragrance, but we're in the people business. Of course. You know, we're here to talk, just talk. Yeah. And, you know, um, and these questions really translate that. So I, I, I see that a lot of people are curious at home. Yeah. So just keep the questions rolling. Keep the questions rolling. You know, I'm glad to, to hear educated questions. Yes. Thank you for that. You know, um, if you don't get a chance to... Um, to get your question aired, call us directly. You guys have our number. Um, you know, you can Google us. You know.
know, we're definitely yeah, approachable. Yeah, it's so big time. time. Yeah, we don't feel that, you know, there's, there's maybe a little funny, yeah. asking a question. No, not at all. Call us, you know, since we're busy with the client, we may, you know, or if we don't pick up, leave a voicemail for us, we'll call you right back. But, you know, just, you know, we're just people. There you go. Right? People well, having fun. Frame him up. This guy is amazing. He really is. He's a good friend of mine. Wow. You're the man. You're the man. <laughs> You're the man. <laughs> Great way to end this fragrance. My friend of the day is pure white. Pure pink. white. Thanks to you. And yes. this day is as well. Pure What's your friend of the day? Comment down below. Let us know. All right? Love to hear. And to keep the questions rolling. My man, anything else you want to say? We're going to say it. goodbye on this note. Yeah, and uh, in the next couple months, we're going to have a big announcement okay. that I'm gonna, we're going to reveal it on your show. Awesome. Awesome. Huge awesome. announcement. All right, next couple so, months. Next couple months. So Stay tuned. tuned. So, uh, we're in, in, in April, May, June, around June, July. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Stay tuned. <laughs> See you guys later.